Hey everyone, Rathia and Rathos here. Today we're going to be doing a little quick video. Um, I tried doing this last night and my video was all cracked out for some reason. When I was scrolling through places now, it wasn't showing it on the video. So, here we are again. I'm going to do a little quick li another quick little video on it just because I thought it was pretty interesting and I wanted to show it. Um, so yeah, it's basically normal. You just go to, you get it from Ash. You get it from PlayStation's actual website, so you know it's legitly them. It's not someone just trying to ha basically hack in their system and getting you access to it. So you go into it, you go to PS, PS Now on PC, you can download the application. Um, you can go down here and make sure your computer has the required spec specs. <laughs> so you should have at least an i3 2.0. 2 gigahertz, uh, 300 megabytes, 2, RAM, 2 gigs of RAM, and obviously a sound card and a USB port. If you, you need the USB port if you're going to use a PS4 controller. Unless you want to install like 2 or 3 applications to make it to where you can Bluetooth your PS4 controller. Um, you can, however, I did find out during the last video that you can use your your um, your, P, your Xbox controller. Um, so that's a good thing. Um, let me actually turn mine off really quick and I will show you how I found that out. Alright. No. No. Uh, okay. So, and then you need at least, obviously, Windows all the way up to 10, um, a 3. Point, and then they recommend you having at least a 3.5 gigahertz Intel 3 or, or Intel i3 or a 3.8 gigahertz AMD A10 or faster obviously the 300 megabytes of space still um, the 2 gigabytes of RAM and again the sound, the sound card and the USB port obviously the USB port again is for the controller um, you can also if you wanted to you can come here and buy a controller from them too I mean they do have some of these cool looking ones that you can try to find where they're at and stuff so so yeah let's go ahead and get into the actual video uh, again it oh and if you guys like um this kind of video i will go ahead and start doing more of them on um, these little updated kind of videos and maybe even do some reaction to trailers and stuff of and whatnot but for now uh just let me know um and we'll and i'll get more of these done. man the cats are destroying the place um so it, when you download it, it's just like an old application. You install it. Obviously, I'm not going to do it because I already have it installed. Um, so let's go ahead and just boot up this, the application. I'll make sure it's still recording. Um, all right. So as you see, it boots up. Um, we can go ahead and turn it into almost full screen mode, just to take up more space so you can see it better. Um, so yeah. So when you normally would boot it up, if you didn't have PlayStation Now. At these signed in and everything, it this will be down and they'll show a little um, talking about it and giving you the chance to go into the, the trial period, which is what I'm currently doing. I am in the trial period, the seven or the week long seven days of trial, and then after that you have to pay, obviously. Um, so I'm going to use this week, play some games on here, see if it's worth something I would want to keep going for. I actually completely forgot about PlayStation Now until I saw the article on it hitting P PC, to be honest. Even though I'm on my PS4 pretty quite a bit still. So, but yeah. Um, I did have PlayStation Now when, I first thought, when it first launched, way back when the PS4 was still pretty young. But, obviously back then it wasn't all that great. So, whatever. So let's go ahead and get right into this. So, it shows you what's hot. So, the God of War. Um, in the GTA 5, um, Uncharted 4, um, Infamous Second Son. Um, that's also something I would like to play through the Infamous games. I didn't get a chance to do that yet. Um, Doom, all that stuff. Uh, Wolfenstein, I think that's the first one. Or I don't remember, but I've been wanting to try those, so it might be fun to play. So yeah, so recently added is basically what's up there right now pretty much, yeah. Uh, Gravity Rush 2, I kind of want to try that maybe one of these times. Um, Strike Force, which is going to be a fun because you can't get that except in the, in the disc format because when I tried getting it on the PSN store and you go to it, it literally tells you it's disc only, which is annoying. So having it on here will be fun to be able to play through it and show you guys and 
whatnot, and maybe even platinum it with you guys because I do want to platinum this. Um, and then Red Flags and Gorilla is another game that I wanted I wanted to do, but my obviously my my card went my um, card my eh, my what's it called my game capture card it's not fully supported with Windows 10, so I have to get a new one. Um, I got it to where it shows up, but for some reason the video is really delayed, so I might I'm just going to get a new one. So yeah, so this would be a good way to record some more video games as well that I want to record. So here's Sonic, there's, this is my list. Um, so I can play through Devil May Cry again with you guys and play through the third one. Which I think is the, what we're, where we're at on that. And then, so yeah, so. Then you can go down here, you can pick up, to, and I will, I will boot up Strike Force because it says it's a play history because that's what I started last time to show, see how it, how it plays. I didn't actually go into gameplay, but I'll do that when we're actually gonna do a little video on it. Um, so yeah, so da, 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 more people, Japanese treasures. So these are apparently really high-selling treasure game, um, Japanese games. Um, these are action RPG, go adventure. Oh, there it goes. Beat them up. So fighting games pretty much. Um, shooters. PlayStation exclusives. So I could even play through Bloodborne. Oh yeah, and God of War is on here too, so I can continue my God of War series. There's three, and I'm pretty sure all of I was. I'm pretty sure I saw all of them on here. I'll have to go down to the G's and take a look. But so yeah, I wanted to do that space. You know, it being basically the Halloween season. But it doesn't have all of them. It only has the third one, which is booty. Cause the third one's actually the least liked one, because the, the first two were amazing. The second, the third one was kind of, eh. It wasn't all that scary. So yeah, I mean I have the first one on here, but but yeah. So yeah, there's others like Fear. We can even give it a try. I never got a chance to try Fear either. There's the Fallouts, 4, 3, New Vegas. Um, I mean, you guys could even go on here and see if there's any games that you might want to see. Because you don't even have to be a member to look at the games. Um, so let's go down to... What was I doing? Oh yeah, I was going to go check if, uh, check out if all the Guy Wars are on here real quick. They're right here. It would be... There's God Eater, which would be nice to play. I ha I actually own those on the PS4, but I don't I haven't actually played them yet. So there's got there's the new one, there's three, there's Ascension, there's the first one, second one, Change of Olympus, Ghost of Sparta. Yep, so they're all on here. So yeah, that we good. So I think we're on. What are we on? I think we're on the second one, huh? I need I need to look. I can't remember. I need to look. Um, I did already platinum Change of Olympus, and I've platinum the first one, so. I want to platinum them all to be honest, but Ghost of Sp I'm on Ghost of Sparta's platinum, and it's being a beast because beating that game on hard is difficult. So yeah, anyways, so yeah, that's pretty much it. That's not all I really had to say. So let's go ahead and boot up a game really quick. Let's go ahead and go put that just be back at the top of my list. We'll just boot up Strike Force. Um. This is a PS3 title. It was also for the PSP, but it's better to play on the PC or the PS3. Uh, for best experience, yeah, it wants you to do all this stuff. Um, you could even use a PS3 controller, apparently. But see, it shows right here the PS4, the PS3, and then the Xbox controller right there. So you can just connect. That's how I found out you can use your, P your Xbox controller. And then it connects and it skips all that, and you're good. Then you can press the escape button to access the fancy stuff. Now you can get trophies, which is awesome. This I didn't know if you could get trophies through this because it's not on the PS4. And then I saw that and I was like, nice. Um, let's go and go into full screen. All right, so we're just gonna have to wait until it boots up. Make sure it's still recording because for some reason my last time I was trying to record it stopped recording. OBS stuff recording because I use OBS to record the desktop.
Normally I would use the, um, whatchamacallit, I've got to make sure my sound's down. Not that. I don't want this to be too loud. Yeah, it's down. Okay. Okay, well, I'll actually let the entire opening go through. You know what? I'm going to actually boot up my, my save. Because my save appeared on here. I found that out too, that last video. And obviously, I'd start over. But. This is the part of the game I like the most, is our transformations. Because it's the only Dynasty Wars game that did this. It made it, like, unique. And that, things like that, which made the game a lot different than other ones, than the other ones. Probably one of my favorite openings actually. So yeah, so we can press start real quick. So new game, continue, options, you go to options, it shows settings, like and everything. So it still has the normal settings. So if you go to continue, I found out my saves are actually on here. So let's go ahead and boot up my save really quick and see how well it actually looks in game. So far it looks really good. Um only I'm playing as her. I forgot about that. I actually don't remember how to play. Um, I think I'm playing through Shu right now. Um, it doesn't look too bad. It looks all right actually, considering it's been increased in resolution, way, way increased. Because I believe it's originally only in 720. So, so yeah. Um. Remember how to do this. So equipment, you can change your equipment and stuff, your chi. I don't know what that is. Oh, it's that stuff. Oh, okay, I remember that stuff. Um, yeah, I have the weaker stuff on. My main weapon. I think I have her strongest weapon. Pretty sure. I don't remember. But yeah. So. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um. Yeah, there's not much else I can say. Um. So actually, let's go. Let's hit the escape button real quick and go into this menu. So obviously, this is actually a lot of the options you would get if you're playing PS3 and you held the home button. The PlayStation button, whatever you want to call it, and then so you'd get the the return to game, the close game. The, obviously, you don't get this option when you're playing on PS PS3, but it brings up this, which is basically what would happen if you press just normally press the PS the PlayStation button, and then you get the your save button, which you can't access without leaving the game. Um, your software. And then your trophies, which is nice, and then your friends. Um, so yeah, so you can access your trophies, and it'll sync up your trophies and load them. And so I don't know how well this will work on getting trophies. So we'll find out. I might grab a game that I haven't really played and try to get a trophy on it and see how it worked. See how well it works, considering I'm not on the PS4. So yeah. Um, which I think is pretty nice. So you can hit that. You go back in here. You go to your vibration settings. Keep that on. I don't really care. So yeah. So let's go ahead and. 
What was that? Oh, no. Like that. I said go like that. Go ahead and close the game. Alright, so that, and that's pretty much it. Um, I might do a quick video on this just to see how well it works. Because um, I have pretty decent internet, a pretty good internet, so it should be, it will show you fine for me. Oh yeah, and you can even click the read me, read more button and it shows you. So let's see, yeah, so it's, resolution is only 720. It is a PS3 game, so. So yeah, um, this game is actually better played on your PS3 or on here, I guess, because it gives you the option to um, play through, play with, with all all kingdoms, where if you play on PSP, you, you, you're stuck with that one kingdom. So. Because you can go through, beat the game with one kingdom, then you can switch kingdoms and play. Yeah, so it's pretty good. So, anyways, make sure to. So, so yeah, that's pretty much it. There's not much else to say. Um, if you guys like videos like, like, want to see more videos like this, let me know. I will do more videos like this, like little updated videos, and I'll maybe on updates and stuff too for all. But. So yeah, there's not much else for me to say. Um, over here you have your normal basic stuff, your account settings, or your privacy settings. When you click on these, it takes you to the website. It doesn't, it's not on the application, so. Your health, the policy terms, and all that stuff. Um, you can, your notifications, I won't have any. But, and then here you can click it, and it would make it to where you use your controller. To you, yeah, so watch, I'll show you. You click it. And then you can use your controller to control the menu, which is like you would in the game. The thing that I've noticed though, is there's no search button. Where if you were on the PS4, you can search. So it might be better if you were on PS, if you have a PS4 to, you know, make your list on the PS4 because you can search instead of having to go through every single thing. Because currently I don't see a search bar. So. Because I don't see a search bar anywhere. Because if you click on this, it takes you back to where I'm already at. Here, it doesn't search. It just brings the notification bar up. This doesn't search. So I don't know. Because I know this is still kind of new. So I mean, the search bar might not be there yet. But but yeah, if you have a PS4, it might be better for you to go and just make your like gaming list on the PS4. And then play on your PC if you want or whatever. Because it's probably going to have... It, well... Kinda, it'll have better performance on the PC, but most of these things are PS3 games. So I mean, this one is, and this is a PS4 game actually. This is the remastered. So I don't ever, I don't really play on, plan on playing on the um, online. So, but I think they're all streamed at 720, just so they're. Just so you don't have any lag, but that's not a big deal. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, like and subscribe. Like I said, if you enjoyed this, let me know, and I will do more videos like this. Um, this is the second time I've done this video, or third, technically third time, but for some reason it decided to stop recording. That's why I've been kind of checking it, making sure it's still recording. Um, because I usually use my, because for gameplay I use when I'm doing normal recordings I use the um, shadow play because it's less con less um whatchamacallit less uh, what do you call it it doesn't hit your performance as much as having something else even though it's still fine but but yeah so yeah there's not much else to say so like like subscribe let me uh, see you all next time and all that jazz um yeah